Thank you. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Um, so this is going to be quite an interesting talk for me uh, because you're going to realize in a Q&A session if the questions become too technical, I might blush or be, have a high-pitched noise uh, voice because I might not be too firm in all that uh, criteria. But I talked to our developer and I have some buzzwords ready for you. <laughs> so, so I will see how far that will get me. So this is our app. Um, usually when you open it right now, you won't see anything in there since we are on winter break, um, like you just mentioned. And so there's this lonesome scooter here on the, in the map right now. Uh, I, I will just guide you through, through this, um, this process of renting one of those scooters. Uh, so you see the scooter here, you tap on the scooter, you get the, the first information for the scooter already, and then you see the address, you see the, the battery, um, the charge of the battery, and you see if it's clean. Uh, if you are all fine with that, you can reserve the scooter, and you will reserve it 15 minutes for free. Um, so I, I did that now, and that's actually the longest call we have uh, right here, because right now I can open the, the helmet box, this is the box here on top, and um, so I get asked a couple of questions. Is the, is the seating bench clean? Do I have a driver's license with me? We need to do that for, for legal reasons. And then afterwards, uh, I get asked if there's, any, um, if there's any damages to the scooter. If there are damages, I can call the service hotline right now. Uh, my co-founder wouldn't be too pleased though right now because uh, it would be his cell phone that would be ringing. And uh, since there are no new damages, I can just hit uh, go on and then there's some hints that you should take care of. Uh, just right now, for example, it's really slippy outside and so uh, we don't want you to get hurt. And once I tr uh, press this button, this is gonna be interesting, You, you will hear it unlock. This, this was actually a pretty long time to wait uh, for the scooter to unlock, but um, we are quite proud of, of those times because uh, what we see with other car sharing providers, this does take quite longer. I mean, uh, Car2Go right now released their new uh, hardware and they, they work way better, but uh, the other car sharers do still have the problem. So in, in the helmet box, there's two helmets in different sizes. If you don't feel like wearing a helmet that quite a lot of people have worn before, you can always take a hygienic cap, and uh, so <laughs> you can put that on your head, and then uh, you won't feel disgusted wearing our helmets. If it was raining outside, you can take our towel and just wipe the seating bench, and actually, you're already good to go. So you can just take the key, and um, yeah, get ahead get the scooter and get started. So that's, that's the product. It's actually pretty, pretty simple and it's actually pretty well known uh, already through all the car sharing uh, providers. What we do different maybe is um, with registration, for example, uh, a big, big hurdle is uh, when you register for a car sharing theme, you always have to show your driver's license in person. So you always have to go to some office and show your driver's license. Um, we are not requesting that. You need to have a driver's license uh, to ride the scooter, just a normal car driver's license. Uh, what we do though, instead of checking it in person, we accept if you just show it to us on Skype. And uh, so you'll have a Skype call with us or with one of our employees and then you can just show the driver's license. We ask you to tilt it a couple of times so that we can actually see the security marks. But once we see those, uh, you're all set to go and you can actually, like if you see the scooter on the street and you decide to sign up right away, you're done in within five minutes at the most and then uh, you can actually take our scooter out for a ride. So uh, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so now are some buzzwords. Uh, we have an open REST API. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. We communicate with another open REST API because we use a telematics provider, uh, Inverse, and they provide us with the telematics unit and um, 
my 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 ex, my developer got actually pretty decided about excited about that because he said and we don't have to communicate to the box because it's all in the cloud so we actually communicate to the cloud and then this makes stuff faster <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, well, what is there you want to know? <laughs> can I rent my scooter to the platform? If you can put your scooter in our within our theme, unfortunately, no. Uh, so, so our whole fleet is electric scooters. We are we are really this is important to us because this is about emissions. We don't want uh, more emissions to be here in in the city. Um, but of course, it's for other reasons. It's the we have a can bus in the scooter and can bus in the scooter, and we we need to communicate with that. And probably your scooter won't have that. How yeah. far can how far can I get with one battery? Okay, I didn't see, oh, there, okay. Uh, so there's two battery packs in there, and each one uh, lasts for 50 kilometers. So all in all, you can go 100 kilometers. Uh, but you don't need to worry about our, like the battery charge, because we have someone driving around at night with an electric transporter, of course, and he switches those battery packs. So uh, by magic, they will be reloaded. Uh, and you don't need to ca take care of that. Hello. White. Ah, hey. How many scooters are there across Berlin? Uh, so right now we have 150 scooters here in Berlin. Oh. But we are only based in Berlin so far. Okay. Yes. How many people can you fit on a scooter? Is it for one person or can another person ride with you? No, it's allowed for two, two people on the scooter. There is, like, we, we do have a small he helmet and a big helmet, so you kind of need to arrange yourself. Like, you need to look for people with other <laughs> shaped heads. No, I, I mean, I can wear both helmet sizes, so this is quite all right. It's, it's kind of a compromise, uh, so that we just wanted to cover the most amount of people's heads. Yes. Uh, so it's a German provider for those scooters, but they are built in China. Uh, China is way ahead of us in terms of electric scooters. Um, they have all kinds of regulation because those, like the, the combustion engine scooters, they do quite pollute a lot. And uh, in China, they realize that uh, pretty fast. And so those combustion engine scooters were prohibited in many cities. And so uh, the electric scooters came, came to be. Can you tell more about uh, here? I, I'm getting <laughs> so confused with that. Yes. Can you tell more about um, battery changing stuff? So how quick it is and how I can get in touch with those uh, battery changer guys? <laughs> <laughs> You don't need to get in touch with us at all uh, because, like you see here on the on the on the screen, we we know the state of the battery, so um, we we do know when the battery is too low. We take it out of the system, so no customer will ac actually rent the scooter and then just drive slower and slower. Um, the, the 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 recharging of the battery or the the swapping of the battery takes no more. Then, like the swapping itself, 10 seconds. Uh, we make our like we make our employees uh, just polish the scooter and uh, make sure that the helmets are all right and that there are hygienic caps in the scooter. So th this whole process takes around four to five minutes for each scooter to take care. Like we have a security check with that as well if the brakes are still all right. So to make sure that the the scooter is still uh, ready for for usage. So and <clears throat> while I'm renting the um, scooter, I know how far I can get uh, with uh, my battery. You know, if you know that one percent is good for one kilometer. Okay. Uh, so I need to we are actually it. struggling with that right now a little bit because we we were thinking about just changing that to kilometer, but it it does 
vary. Uh, like if you are two persons on the scooter, of course your range goes down. And so you, we don't want to promise people like, or our customers, you can go for another 40 kilometers and then you're riding this with two persons and then it's done after 35. So we don't want that to happen and that's why we're still kind of stuck on the percentage. But uh, we are thinking how we can improve that. So I can rent a scooter, go I don't know how many kilometers and I can be sure someone will um, come up with a battery I can change and you can only like, to the, my destination. You can end your rent within the S-Bahn circle here in Berlin, but yeah, it won't matter where you end this rent. We, we don't care. Someone will follow me. <laughs> yeah. Someone will be at your back and then following you all the time. <laughs> it's quite a business. Yeah. So, just because there are so many and, and we are good on time, one more question, but that's got to be the last, so pick wisely. <laughs> no, so sorry, somebody with a microphone. Like, when, when are we back in service? Okay, that's, that's a good one, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Two more questions. We, one. Uh, we are planning with March, but not with snow outside, so we are spontaneous about that. <laughs> so, really last question now. Actually, it's kind of following this up, that up anyway. Um, I don't even have a driving license, so it's pretty a dumb question. <laughs> Why do you not work in winter, and what do you, what do, you do in winter? <laughs> <laughs> we're on vacation right now, so I, I have my tan going for me. No, uh, we are working on our expansion plans. Uh, we, I drove the scooter here, and I was almost crying because it's way too cold to drive a scooter. I have several layers of clothing and it's really too cold and it's actually too dangerous because the roads are slippery. So we don't want that right now. So thank you very much. <laughs>